Today we're smoking a fat tomahawk steak on the Pit Barrel Junior, my favorite way to cook steak. Stick around and I'll show you how we do it. Let's light up the Pit Barrel Junior. Our first step is loading your charcoal basket with some lump charcoal or briquettes. I use Jealous Devil today on this cook and I'm used to using lump. A lot of people like using briquettes to have a little bit more even cooking, but on the pit barrel, it averages 275 to 300 degrees on most of your cooks. I have not had any issues just using lump charcoal and it's my preferred method of cooking on my grills. So we're using Jealous Devil Lump XL and then we're gonna be throwing in some wood chunks. This is post oak wood chunks that we're gonna throw on top. Um, and what you could do to light up your pit barrel is one or two ways. You could take your grill grate and lay it on the bars and then set this um, charcoal basket on top and light some fire starters and let it burn for 10 minutes. Uh, until you get that white ashed over charcoal and you're ready to go. Or you can get yourself a grill blazer gun just like this and light this charcoal in a minute. And we're gonna set it below in the pit barrel. Make sure your bottom vent is set to your environment. And then we're gonna put these rods in and let it all come to temperature. And then we are gonna uh, take you into the kitchen and show you our preparation there. So let's fire it up. Now that we have the pit barrel up to temperature, we're aiming for that clear blue smoke. After you load the truckle, you let it light and you throw in your wood chunks. Today we used post oak and now we've achieved that temperature we're looking for. I'm gonna take you into the kitchen and tell you our process of preparing this tomahawk steak. This is a prime tomahawk, about two to three inches thick that we got from Costco. And I have salt brined this steak for over an hour. I'll link a article description uh, for you to check out if you've never done this process. It sucks out the moisture and sucks it right back in. It's a pretty great process for meat. And after we have salt brined that for about over an an hour or so, we patted it dry, and now we are going to prepare it with the rest of the seasoning. Now, before we um, marinate it or anything like that, or use a binder, we are gonna drill a hole through the bone using a drill bit. And you could just lay this flat and just drill it right through like so. I'll just show you as I'm talking, and then you're all set, and you can use your meat hooks just like this to put it through. Uh, and now we're going to use a binder to prepare the rest of the seasoning. Uh, we're going to be using Frank's hot sauce, which is one of my favorite things. It has a great smoke point and just adds um, a great process to it. You can use olive oil, duck fat spray, whatever you enjoy. Uh, people ask me, do I taste? Do I taste it? I don't taste that. I just think it has a great smoke point to it as we put rub on it. Now we're also going to be using just coarse ground pepper only since we salt brined it and then just add that and allow the meat to show off itself in the cooking process. So that's what we're doing. And then we're gonna be using a meat stick digital thermometer to monitor temperatures. And we're gonna be aiming for that uh, 120-ish uh, internal temperature before we sear it. So we're gonna hook it, we're gonna hang it, and we're gonna let it smoke until it hits that 120. And then I'm going to sear it. I'm gonna see uh, what it looks like when it gets to that 120. I'm gonna probably use a grill grate that can hang down and you hang the steak and then I can take it off, put it on the grill grate and let it either build that fire and get a sear or I'm gonna use my grill torch. To, I'm just gonna see how the process goes and do either one. So stay tuned to see which way I go. If I use the uh, torch to sear it or put it on the grill grates, we'll just see how the process goes. But again, this is one of my favorite ways to cook steaks. It's just hanging it and allowing that convection heat hit that live fire hit, uh, hit that steak and it's just amazing process. So let's go ahead and take the steak and put it on the pit barrel. We've hit that internal temperature that we're looking for of that 120-ish and we're gonna take this off, check it out. This is a pit barrel hook grabber. Let's take the hook and look at that steak. I'm gonna bring you in so you can see. 
Uh, I'm hoping this comes through in camera, but you can just see uh, the color turning, not only on the bone, but that coarse ground pepper just stinging it out so delicious. We're gonna put this down and begin to sear it for our final finish of this tomahawk steak. We have finished it up. Now we're gonna sear this puppy. You can do this one or two ways. You could double or triple hook this and let it, the flame just kiss this, or you could use the sous vide um, grill blazer torch. And anytime I can use a grill torch, let's be honest, let's do it. <laughs> We have finished up this amazing ribeye steak. I've got my Dow Strong Pitmaster knife. I'm taking you inside. We let this rest with foil for 10 minutes. After we did that, we used this Dow Strong knife to cut down the bone and then slice that steak. And then we used a great finishing salt. Um, if you haven't tried this, it just gives it some extra flavor. It's so good. And my wife and I have already done a few bites of this and it was delicious. This is by far one of my favorite ways to cook steak because it's just nothing like live fire cooking and it just does an amazing job. So let's do a little taste test on camera and uh, let you know what I think. Man, that was delicious. That finishing salt and just the right amount of smokiness because there's just nothing like charcoal live fire cooking that gives it just that authentic, um, that authentic charcoal and kind of smoky flavor right over the f open flame and then we torched it at the end and so that was kind of our process is just in summary we salt brine for an hour uh, we patted that dry used it frank's hot sauce then we used just kosher or i'm sorry uh, ground coarse pepper on it and then we hooked it we drilled a hole in it and then we hung it for 45 minutes and that was the final result. It was just worth waiting for in such a fun process uh, to cook steaks this way. I encourage you, if you've never done this, to do it. Uh, if you don't have a pit barrel, they're really affordable. I have a link in my description. It's just a great alternative uh, smoker if you don't have it or get a, uh, a great large uh, hook and find a creative way to hook and hang your food on your current grill. So get creative, it's a lot of fun. Now friends, if you like videos like this, like, subscribe, tell YouTube what you thought of this video. You know what to do, uh, but most importantly, put in the comments what you thought of the cook. I would love to hear from you because I love to grow together in our barbecue and grilling journey. So if you learned something, put it in the comments what you thought of it. And again, from my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Till next time.